So it's election day, and this has me thinking. Everyone wants to talk about the democratic ideals here in America, but we're not so much, in my opinion, a democracy as we are a republic. I looked up a few definitions, and it gets a little dodgy. Uh, it depends on what the definition of is is, eh? But a direct democracy is a form of government in which the supreme power is vested in the people and exercised directly by them. Now, a republic is what I've always been taught we are. We're a republic because someone represents us. We may directly vote for our representative, but our representative votes. To go back to the most contentious issue, let's cover health care, right? So a republic is a state in which the supreme power rests in the body of citizens entitled to vote. Now, since you can't vote when you're under 18, I guess we'll have to go there, kind of. But I'm not going to fall back on that technicality. And it's exercised by representatives as chosen directly or indirectly by them. Now, this is what we do. We choose our representatives, and we send them to the Senate. Uh, we send them to the House of Representatives. They vote for us. Now, if you want to get on the ballot to vote for a local office, a state office, or a national office, it takes signatures, sometimes tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of signatures to get on the ballot. It seems to me we could form a more direct democracy by keeping our republic as it stands. You get to vote for your senator or your congressman. That's, 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 that. you're, you're, you're a member of the House. This is fine. No one wants to take that from you. But maybe, just maybe, if we don't like how our senators voted, if you don't like how your, your member in the House has voted, you should be able to do a recall vote. If you can get the tens of thousands of signatures, the hundreds of thousands of signatures, to agree with you and say, hey, you know, I don't like how he voted on health care. I don't like what she had to say about the defense bill. You can call a referendum and overturn that vote. Now, much like the entire legislature in California passed a, a gay marriage bill, where it's okay for two dudes or two women to get married. And then a lot of people from Utah sent a lot of money down to affect the election, and, uh, and, and they had a vote on it, and this, this referendum was knocked down. I think this might help with everything. Maybe it would make people more aware of activity in Washington instead of just what's happening in their, in their backyards. Maybe it would make a more active democracy. Maybe this would get a clear statement from people on what they expect from their representatives so that the representatives could do a better job in, you know, representing them. Maybe this would spread the money out. Because instead of all the money going $20 million to win a race, instead of all the money going to individuals, it gets spread out to more grassroots activity. And everyone seems to think that grassroots activity is a good thing. I'm not going to suggest this is the right check on government because we have these three systems. We have your judicial branch, your, your legislative branch, and your executive branch for checks and balances. But I think it's a possibility that somewhere in this idea is a check, a, a balance, to the people we send to represent us. And uh, I think that's a pretty good idea.